Hi guys, so today we have a new video and as you can see we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a 148 scale kit which comes as a weekend edition as it's written here and it copies Tempest Mark V, uh, so quite famous British fighter aircraft and 148 scale it should be quite impressive build so that's why I decided to take a closer look because here we have a commercial sample which is exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in the uh, kit which you will get if you order from official Edward website and of course we have a really beautiful box art on the top of this uh, packaging so overall box size I would say it's typical for Edward here you can see comparison with my hand and also on the side here you will find some safety devices and also kit number so it's 84187 while on the opposite side you can see four marking options which are included here so they are I would say somewhat typical for British aircraft and we all know that it would be strange to expect some colorful camouflages from this type of the uh, fighter aircraft but we will see I mean maybe in the marking guide there will be some interesting things so here we have all the frames packed into the separate plastic bags so I will put the whole box aside and we will start with a clear plastic sprue which is packed into a separate plastic bag by the way the overall packaging is kind of on the tight side I would say because it's really filled up to the top so that's why it's better to check the box if you can for example in model shop so just open it and take a look because usually they do not seal the boxes so here you can see the clear sprue and overall molding quality looks really great so here we have uh, nice canopy parts and of course you can open the cockpit so it will come handy in 148 scale but what you you should remember is that we do not get the masks here so in case you would like to have a really nice paint finish on those parts you have to get them as a separate add-on from Edward and of course it costs extra money so be sure to I would say add this into your budget because it's really a must-have accessory in my opinion unless you're really skilled in the cutting masks obviously next we have surprisingly another clear sprue but this one is uh, kind of different because here we have a matte clear finish as you can see so it means that this parts will be used for the external parts and mainly for the fuel tanks and the pylons as you can see and of course we have some guiding elements inside so it will be quite easy to align everything together next we continue with the fuselage house so this is the first gray plastic sprue and I was just checking what is actually promoted there so it's quite interesting because we have the uh, tail fins promoted and we also have the nose section promoted so including this chin air intake and also cooling panels so you will have to be careful in this area as for the external features you can notice that we have external panel lines I mean um, recess panel lines and also rivets those are external features and inside we have some minor um, features for the cockpit structural ones and also here in the main wheel well so of course we also get the guiding elements so it will be easier to align everything together and I like such level of details in 148 scale because it's already making a difference in such large model next we continue with the wing parts so here are the main thing you can notice is that flaps are pre-molded but ailerons are separate again we have recess panel lines and rivets and if i flip it over here you can check also the main wheel wells details so they look quite impressive the only question is how to show them because obviously they will be not that easy to notice on the finished aircraft by the way note that the um, edge of the wing it serves as a guiding element and we also get the guiding pins here so it will be easier to align all of this stuff together and also here we have the trailing edge which will be also guiding a bit and helping you to get the proper alignment next we continue with another plastic bag here we get three plastic sprues at the same time so first of all we have the sprue, just give me a second, it's a sprue F, so here we have the tail wing parts and also propellers and also propeller hubs and ailerons and the rudder. So everything looks really great 
And again, for the tail wings, if we flip it over, we have the guiding pins and they're quite large. So it will be quite easy to get all of this stuff together. And also the swinging gear doors, their details, pre-molded details, they were quite impressive. So it's worth adding some weathering on them so that those details will not be lost on your model. Next we continue with another plastic sprue. So here we have a bit more of internal stuff. It means the cockpit parts and also large radiator and also engine gear parts. So as if you wonder where is the engine, as for the engine we do not have it here and if you would like to have it on your aircraft you will have to buy the separate PE set. Um, actually brass inset, but by the way the same can be said about the cockpit so you can replace whole cockpit with the brass inset which will offer more features but it will cost also some extra money so in, if you have such budget for such things then definitely go for it next we continue with the last gray plastic sprue so here we have mix of various parts we have also some of the cockpit walls here, we have the rockets, we also have the landing gear wheels in two types, landing gear wheel rims, and everything works fine. By the way, the tires for the wheels, they have the Dunlop writing on them pre-molded, which is also a nice touch in this scale. And of course, you can replace them with a brass inset if you would like to, because, uh, well, resin wheels are always a bit more sophisticated in details than what we get in the plastic. Even though this standard plastic should suffice for the uh, standard out-of-the-box build, let's say. Next, we continue with the decal sheet. This one was packed into the separate plastic bag. Here, I will have to close the lenses so that you won't be blinded by this. And you can see that here we do not have any segmentation, but we have some decals for the cockpit. And we also have a lot of stencils. So again, for the stencils, I always say that the 148 scale aircraft demands uh, application of all of the stencils, so do not be lazy. And next we continue with the assembly manual. So here I will have to zoom out a bit. This assembly manual is printed in form of large or um, really big A4 format um, brochure. Here we have also short history note and then we continue with the parts map. Assembly process starts with the cockpit so be ready to paint it immediately because first of all it will be enclosed in the uh, fuselage and second you have to apply decals so you have to apply them on the painted surfaces obviously. Then we continue by joining fuselage halves together. Here you have also to assemble the front engine radiator. We assemble wings on the next two pages. And it also includes the main wheel wells. Here we install the tail fairings and also the combing panel here. And next we have the tail landing gear, main landing gear getting in place. Landing gear doors because this landing gear system on, the, on this aircraft was quite sophisticated. We also have a choice between open and closed canopy as you remember. And then we continue with the rocket launchers which will be used only on the marking D by the way. Here we continue with two marking options. Note that underwing uh, fuel tanks they will be used on all of those. So be sure to use uh, the parts included and of course to paint them properly. And next we continue with two more aircraft. Again fuel tanks are in place here but here you get the rockets under the wing so might be an interesting change especially in this light covered version of the camouflage. Next we continue with the stenciling guide. So here it's quite simple, not that many writings in my opinion. And also we have a really long list of the additional accessories which you can get for this aircraft and definitely take a look because I think you will find something interesting for your project as well. So this kit should be already available. You can get it on official Edward website together with all of this stuff which you saw here. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.